Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Hardy. It's a brand new year and we've got some brand new things to tell you about, including the tax commissioner's new tag kiosk, a new pavilion at Hunter Park, and a new group of senior citizens enjoying their birthdays at the Woody Fight Senior Center. These stories and more today on Douglas County News Exchange. The worst thing about your birthday is having to renew your car tag. The Douglas County Tax Commissioner, Greg Baker, understands that and is trying to make it easier and more convenient. There is a new car tag renewal kiosk located in the Douglas County Courthouse, and we were there for the ribbon cutting. Thank you everyone for being here today. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Rick Martin. I'm the Deputy Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, and I want to welcome you to today's uh, ribbon cutting ceremony that we have uh, about to begin and have underway. Have you ever thought about as easy as one, two, three? Simple steps, simple steps. Self serve vehicle registration now being available at the county courthouse. Well, it's responsible. It's the, um, it's a, actually it is what I can say, the result of a collaborative effort spearheaded by one of the individuals I am about to introduce, Douglas County Tax Commissioner, Gregory Baker. Thank you and welcome to Douglas County. I'm very happy to welcome you here today. We are introducing a machine that we have installed here at the courthouse uh, last month and we're going to talk about what that machine will do for Douglas County. We're also looking for install another machine later in the year. Actually it'll be next year now. So with that said I'm going to introduce my deputy chief who will go over everything and I'd like to welcome you all and we look forward to working with you and for the citizens of Douglas County this will speed up your services and we look forward to working with all of you in the coming year. Thank you very much. I want to first thank each of the commissioners, Henry Mitchell, Kelly Robinson, Mike Mulcair, Ann jones Guider, and Madam Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, for allowing us the opportunity to bring in the tag renewal kiosk to the courthouse. This has given our citizens the convenience of renewing their tag with ease based on their everyday needs. It has been a great asset for our department, but more importantly, the citizens that we are grateful for as well. I also want to thank those in attendance with us today. We have Brent Bennett, the Assistant Director with the Georgia Department of Revenue, and all the others that are here in attendance as well. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us and celebrate in this ribbon cutting ceremony. We now officially have two kiosk locations. The first kiosk is located at the Kroger on Hospital Drive, which is 8501 Hospital Drive, and was brought into the county in December of 2015. We have found it to be very successful and with an average use of 433 renewals per month used on that kiosk. Due to that success, we have been able to supply a second kiosk located here at the courthouse. The second kiosk can assist citizens that come in before off, or after office business hours or those that are crunched for time and need to hurry and be done in less than five minutes. Currently, only tag renewals can be done at the kiosk, but coming soon will be some added bonuses, such as being able to pay your insurance lap fees or your IRP payments. Another added bonus is being able to renew your tag in another county in the state of Georgia that is a participating county in the kiosk program. Currently, there are a total of 22 participating counties, which allow you, as a Douglas County resident, to renew your tag at their kiosk locations as well. We are very excited for this technology and specifically want to thank Intellectual Technologies Incorporated for supplying their kiosks and technology to Douglas County, Georgia and its surrounding counties. At this time, I would like for us to make our way over to the tag kiosk for the official cutting of the ribbon by your tax commissioner, Gregory Baker. Afterwards, please join us for some snacks and refreshments over here off to the side. And again, thank you all for coming. In 
issues and interests, we want to let you know that the Bring One for the Chipper program is in full swing at the Douglas County Landfill. The official day is Saturday, January 6th, but they are participating for the entire month of January. You will have to cross the scales in order to recycle your tree and to receive your free packet of vegetable or flower seeds. Yeager Middle School participated in the Burt Show Big Thank You this year. This is a program created by radio host Burt Wise to send letters to soldiers deployed across the globe during the Thanksgiving holiday. One lucky student, Jeremy Barnes, received a return letter from the soldier deployed in Bahrain. U.S. Navy Master at Arms Landon Adams not only wrote a letter to Jeremy, but also included a small gift, a special command challenge coin. The coin is only shared with someone who shows great respect and honor to a service member. Congratulations, Jeremy. Hunter Park has a new place to hold your family picnic, birthday celebration, or various other outside events. A ribbon cutting for the new pavilion was held last month and we were there to capture the event. So I just want to say good afternoon to everyone again and uh, thank you all for coming out. I uh, hope everybody had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving and didn't get beat up traveling on the roads, but uh, thank you all for coming out. This is actually our uh, 2.0 version of the ribbon cutting. Um, on August 31st, we attempted to have the ribbon cutting, but Mother Nature had different plans for us. And uh, so we wanted to make sure we did the diligence and do the right thing and make sure we have a ceremony where we actually get to cut a ribbon this time. For those that may not know or those that weren't here the first go around, uh, the pavilion is a is the dream and the vision that was a partnership with Masonic Lodge 289. Uh, when I came and was appointed here with the city back in uh, to the October of last year, uh, Mr. Hollis and, and Mr. Jack Jones, they just so happened to be at that same council meeting. And they came to share that the vision had kind of gotten a little lost and they wanted to just bring it back up. And on that same night, I was there again getting appointed. And, you know, to me, that was just the greatest coincidence of all. So uh, we actually got a chance to talk afterwards and, and they shared with me where the vision was and what was going on and, and pretty much that's where the ball got rolling. Uh, this pavilion is replacing a pavilion that was here that was damaged back in 2009 uh, from the flood and the renovations that took place here. So this is replacing a, uh, an establishment that they used to have back in the day when they were doing their normal functions out here. And with that structure being damaged, I. I can see where it might have taken away from their normal functions uh, with their Labor Day preparations uh, where they come out and they have their sales here in the, uh, in the park with the community. So with this coming back into the inventory, uh, not only with that, but the vision that they have with the community, being able to utilize it for their functions, uh, birthday parties, uh, cookouts, family reunions, anything of that nature, uh, I just see a great future with the pavilion here and I want to thank them and the city with their support for the project to come to fruition. Um, this project was approved by Mayor and Council in April of 2017. Uh, Diversified Construction uh, was awarded the bid to complete the project here, and it was uh, completed here in August, early August of uh, this year. So with that original ribbon cut, and unfortunately, like I said, it got delayed a little bit, and Mother Nature took over, but we're here now to celebrate it, and. Um, and let it be the, the great investment that the city and the Masonic Lodge will have together. Um, at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Coach Councilman Watts, uh, if he could come up and share a few words. My name is Chris Watts, and I serve on the City Council, and I just wanted uh, to say a special thank you uh, to the Masonic Lodge, uh, 289, and Jack Jones, and uh, Kyle Harris, and, and just, we appreciate y'all pushing this. Yeah, we, uh, we probably, it probably seemed like we were a little bit slow to get this going and get it off the ground, but y'all hung in there and uh, was patient with the city, and we appreciate y'all's patience because uh, uh, it's a beautiful structure and uh, uh, money well spent. And we just, uh, you know, the city's goal is to improve the amenities of the city uh, with parks and recreation being a, a key part of that. And uh, whoever this is can wait till later. Sorry about that. 
But anyway, I just uh, just want to thank uh, Travis, also Travis Landon, our Parks and Rec Director, uh, for his leadership in all of this, and all all the folks that work at the Parks and Recreation. Just appreciate y'all. Uh, y'all work hard. At Hunter Park's looking great. I was over at Jesse Davis the other day, and even though we got a highway running right through the middle of it, we're going to get squared away on that uh, uh, before too long. But uh, just the uh, Dugsville Parks and Recreation and the addition of this uh, uh, structure right here is a, is a uh, great uh, asset to have for the city. So we appreciate uh, y'all's contribution to that. Thank you. The Woody Fight Senior Center honors its members who are celebrating birthdays each month. We always attend to make sure these special citizens get the recognition they deserve. Here are last month's honorees. Good morning, everybody. How are you? And welcome to the December birthdays for the Woody Fight Senior Center, and we're so glad you're here. I'm Sharon Johnson, I'm the director here, and we're just delighted that y'all could be with us today. And of course, we're delighted to have our chairperson with us too. Oh, hi. Happy birthday, everybody. Thank you. I tried to take the director's mic. I saw, I forgot I'm already mic'd up. But anyway, I just wanted to say, extend uh, well wishes and uh, birthday wishes from the Board of Commissioners. We are proud to film you today because our seniors have paid their dues and you're worthy of this moment. So we wanted to come celebrate your special moment today. So thank you, thank you, and happy holidays as well. So you got two for one. So happy holidays. Fantastic, and we're so glad that you could be here too. Uh, I'm going to be going around, and I'm going to be, I want you to introduce yourself, tell us when your birthday is. If you want to tell us how old you are, that's okay, too, all right? So, but be proud of your age. I'm proud of mine, all right? That's right. <laughs> so, and I'd also like to know where you were born, where you're from. Uh, it's, it's been amazing to us, I think, that we have seen such a variety of places where people were born, even international. And I think that's a fantastic thing. Proves that Douglas County is a fantastic place to be and to live. So we welcome you. Okay, we're gonna start out over here with our birthday people. And I've known this birthday person for a very, very long time. We grew kids up together. I'm Barbara Wiley. My birthday is December the 22nd. I was born in 1941 in Hartford, Kentucky, and that makes me 76 this year. Fantastic. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I love Fantastic. I love this. Okay, I know this lady, too. Well, I'm Judy Edwards. My husband, Bill Edwards, his birthday is Monday, December the 4th. He will be 81. My birthday is December the 11th, and I will be 75. Yes, we've been married 55 years. Oh, wow. November the 24th, the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> so um, we're loving the Woody Fight Center. And uh, where were you born? And where well, were born? I was born at Crawford Long Hospital, All right. Fulton County. <laughs> Bill was also born there. All right. Okay. So it's nice to meet all of these wonderful people here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, my name is Hicks. I was born as close to Christmas as you can get. I'm a New Yorker, and I'm not telling you another thing, but I enjoy the Woody Fight. I do know her age, but I ain't telling either. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm Laura Perry. My birthday is the 15th of December, and I was born in South Georgia, Pelham, raised in Middle Georgia, Warner Robins. And I love the Woody Fight. Oh, Thank you. Wow. That's great. Thank you. So, yes. All right. My name is Sue Locke. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. 
I'm going to be 74. My birthday's on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Christmas Day. Happy what a nice present. Day. Wow. A nice present somebody got. Here. Hi, my name is Del Alcina. Uh, I was born in Puerto Rico, and um, uh, my birthday is December 13th. I love coming to Woody Fight Center. We love Aww. having her here, too. Happy You'll birthday. You'll see her some on the front desk, so. Yes, yes. yes. happy okay. birthday. My birthday is December the 31st. My name is Robert Hutchins. I was born in Cedartown, Georgia, and I will be 71. Uh, the last of this month, 31st. Very good. You just caught up with me, honey. Okay. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm Evelyn Butterworth, and on December the 9th, I will be 83. Wow. I grew up up in the North Georgia mountains near the North Carolina line in Blairsville, Georgia, one of the coldest places in the state. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, happy birthday. happy birthday. All right, and who do we have here? Uh, Kathy Brock. Uh, my birthday is December 28th. I'll be 70, and I was born in Orlando, Florida. Okay. Happy birthday. Okay. Yeah. My name is Bernice Butler, and I'm 79 years old. I'm a Grady baby. All right. And um, that's about it. When, what day is your birthday? Oh, December 5th. December 5th. Oh, so right. yours is next week then. Yes, right. happy birthday. Thank you. Okay. okay, my name is Irene Williams, and my birthday is December the 2nd, and I'll be 92 years old. Yes! yes. yes. And I uh, was born in Selma, Alabama. All right. Oh, and right. I lived most of my adult life in Michigan, but now I'm glad to be back south. Well, we're glad you came back south, yes, honey. It's okay. It's warm weather. <laughs> My name is Carol Johnson. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm 74, and my birthday is December 24th. So, so you Happy were Christmas birthday. Eve, baby. Yeah, right. Christmas Eve. Yeah, wow. Okay, I All believe right. we got everybody here, I think. So, everybody, happy, happy, happy birthday. Merry birthday from all of us and the staff here at the Woody Bite Senior Center. So folks, you ready to sing? Here yes, we go. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear everybody. God bless you. Birthday to you. And many more. Okay. This month's Hometown Hero segment features mentors, philanthropists, a charitable organization, and a bunch of four-legged friends, and they're all in the same place, the Exodus Ranch. Hi, I'm Melody from the Exodus Ranch right here in downtown Douglasville. Here at the ranch we do a lot of things and everything that we do is directed towards helping children. We have an equine mentoring program here at the ranch and that equine mentoring program is free for foster children who struggle with PTSD, abuse issues, abandonment issues. Uh, the program is wonderful for them. It lets them work with horses and ride alongside a mentor and helps them work out anger issues and different things that they're dealing with. We also at the ranch host the Special Olympics, the Douglas, uh, Douglas County Special Olympics, and this year we took them to Gainesville, Georgia, and they did awesome. They won a bunch of silver, bronze, gold medals. They practice here at the ranch and use the Exodus Ranch horses. Our girls rodeo team, there are seven of them, ages um, 5 to 17. They're awesome. They all rodeo with West Georgia Junior Rodeo, Georgia High School Rodeo, and one of our girls also um, rodeos on the professional level. But our goal is to be the hands and feet of Christ. We want to serve our community in any way that we can. Hi, I'm Shell, and I am one of the rodeo moms, and I am also one of the mentors for our mentoring program. I, at the moment, have a young lady um, 
who is nine years old and has been my mentor child since April. She is an incredible child and the fostering, the mentoring program has really, really assisted her in her confidence and her self-esteem and her um, independence. She has just blossomed and the child is basically fearless, uh, which makes my job somewhat easy because she's not afraid to do anything. But she and I bonded from the first moment we met and um, I just, I love her dearly and I love watching her develop through the mentoring program. Hi, my name is Jessica Morgan. I am the C a CTRS and therapeutic riding instructor here at Exodus Ranch. I help run our Special Olympics equestrian team. We have five riders currently. Um, ages range from 12 to 22. Hi. Monday, Adrian has only won. Adrian has won two gold and a bronze medal this year in our Special Olympics equestrian team for trail, western horsemanship, and western riding. Diella Russell, I am 14 years old. <laughs> Diella has won a silver and two bronze medals this year in western horsemanship, western riding, and trail. What do you like? What do you like about doing this? I get no homework. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Nadia McKinney. I am nine years old. I have won a medal for horsemanship, showmanship, and trail. I have won a bronze, one bronze medal and two silver. Well, special limits allow me to meet things. They allow me to meet people and horses. Like Charlie, he's a great horse. I hope I get him next year, but I'm not sure. And Ella, a great friend. So is Shaman and Adrian. Exodus Ranch is important to our team because they are offering our group some the resources to be able to compete in these Special Olympics events. They are bringing our athletes the ability to work on so many aspects of their lives. That includes this leisure activity, um, this recreational activity of horsemanship, sportsmanship between their team members, the social aspect of being on a team and being a part of a facility that's constantly growing and bringing people from the community in. I am here teaching them and coaching the equestrian team because not only do I love horses, but I love these athletes. They are the greatest kids to work with. They provide so much happiness and enthusiasm to my life. It's encouraging to just watch them grow. They're, they're going home and they're reading materials to become better riders, and that to me is just incredible. Hi, my name is Jaden Sampson. I am 12 years old and I compete in the West Georgia Junior Rodeo. And some of the things, or all of the things that I've won, I have won the 2017 West Georgia Junior Rodeo Princess. I have won the 2017 West Georgia Junior Rodeo Shoot Dog and Champion all around. And I have also won the 2017 Go Round Goat Tying Champion and the All Around Goat Tying Champion and I have won the 2017 West Georgia Junior Rodeo All-Around Champion Girl for the Youth. Hi, my name is Shimpran Shinley. I'm seven years old, and I won two belt buckles, one for poles and one for bales, a saddle for Pee Wee All-Around Girl, and two crosses. My name is Aiden, and I'm five, and, and I won, I won, um, a belt buckle and a tiny tot champion. Hi, my name is Kira Shinley. I am 10 years old and I have won a belt buckle for pole bending in 2016. And in the 2017 West Georgia Junior Rodeo, I did shoot dogging, goat tying, barrels and poles, and dummy roping. And I placed top 10 in all of my events. Hi, my name is Natalie Duma. I'm 17 and I'm the 2018 West Georgia Junior Rodeo Queen. I've also won the 2017 All-Around Pole Bender and Barrel Racing Champion. And also I'm the 2017 Barrels and Poles Finals Champion. 
Um, I've also won the 2016 Shoot Dog and Finals Champion Belt Buckle also. So there are seven girls on our team. Five-year-old is our youngest and then 17, so I'm the oldest. The way that we've grown into family, it's it's pretty cool because like we look like like we act like sisters, but we have redheads and brunettes. <laughs> so we look nothing alike, but the way we act, it's just rodeo has brought us together so much with that. So we start off with mutton busting, which is uh, it's kind of like bull riding, but for little kids, but it's sheep. <laughs> so she uh, sheep just pretty much book it at the gate, um, <laughs> and then we have steer wrestling, dummy roping, goat tying, goat tail untying for the littler kids who can't really get down the flank for the goat because their hands are too small. <laughs> um, and then we do bull riding, roping, breakaway, team roping, tie down roping, and then barrels and poles. You're on, it's not like you're on your own, but you're responsible for your own things. Uh, you have to respect your parents. If you do not know how to respect your parents, you're not gonna get on a horse. <laughs> That's a big preach here. No back talking, no sass. Yes ma'am, no ma'am. Yes sir, no sir. Um, if we put a horse in a stall, you better clean it. Uh, Melody and Joe are not here. They're providing us horses. They don't have to be. Um, so it's, it's, our, it's our way of learning responsibilities. Before every rodeo at West Georgia Junior Rodeo, she gives us a Bible verse. Uh, we have to learn and recite that Bible verse before we can get on our horse and compete. So if we can't remember that Bible verse, we're not competing. So it's like a, another way to learn and uh, involve Jesus in what we do and stuff and uh, always remember what we're doing it for. So we do have a Facebook page, it's West Georgia Junior Rodeo, and we also do have a website. If you just Google West Georgia Junior Rodeo, it should be like the first link. And we also have sponsorships, um, if you like tractor supply down in Fairburn Road, which is that one. <laughs> uh, we have Wild Horse Tack, then we have Southeastern Equine, they're one of our sponsors. So if you, if you know anybody who shops there, um, we're pretty much involved in there. We're trying to get out and get a little bit more known. We're very blessed for Melody and Joe to have the ranch here for us. Um, as a rodeo mom, I cannot even express how much this rodeo team means to me and to Jaden. She had she began her career with um, riding in Western Pleasure and started doing rodeo here, speed events, and just. Um, just absolutely loves it. It's it's her world. She would rather be here than anywhere else. It's free to be on the rodeo team, but it's not free for their things. The Special Olympics program is free. It is not free for the ranch. The mentoring program is free for our foster children who are being mentored. It is not free for the ranch. The ranch pays for the the horses and the feed and the vet bills and the farrier bills and the ranch, this beautiful ranch that we're at. If anybody is out there who wishes to sponsor, we've got a place for you. We can hook you up with sponsorship. We need sponsors for our mentoring program, for our rodeo team, and for our Special Olympics. So we kind of have an open door policy here. We invite y'all to come see us. You can give us a call if you'd like to come visit the ranch or you just want to come talk to us about one of our programs. We'd love to have you come out and do that. That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and online at DCTV23.com. See you next time.